offended. Beloved, you know, there's a few things about liars, right? That, you know, that cannot be refuted. Um, one being the fact that they have to keep telling lies to cover up the lies they told before, right? Two, they don't remember the lies that they tell. So ine inevitably, they end up getting caught, right? Not just by that omission alone, but by many others, right? The things that, that they think other people cannot see are wide open for other people to see, right? The only ones that don't see it and that cannot notice it, right, are the ones operating on the same level as them. Are the ones who are asleep or as asleep as they are. This is why they don't see it. Okay? They have no faith in anything. They have no belief in anything. And when I say anything, I mean God. The most high God. Not whoever you pray to. Not whoever you believe in. No, the one that is to be believed in. The only one. To think that you can steal someone's <laughs> life work, their story, the things that happen to them in their lives, you try to steal it and make it your own as if those things happen to you. Where's the evidence? Where's the receipts? Where's the trail? Where is it? You have no rap sheet. At least not one that you're trying to hop in and dabble in. You have no rap sheet there, here. You've got one on the demonic side though. Yeah. It's amazing that somebody who was so evil, so toxic, so destructive, so all over the place can sit up here and claim to be a divine being and fool a whole community of people that they are just that, a divine being sent from God. Well, they're not. We are. And we have the receipts to back it up. We have the trail behind us to back it up. And most of all, we have God to back it up. So initially, you're trying to steal God's work. And you're trying to make it your own. You're trying to make it Satan's work. As the Bible says, a corrupt tree cannot bear good fruit, and a good tree cannot bear corrupt fruit. So therefore, you cannot take good fruit, siphon it from a good tree through your rotten, demonic, dead tree, and the fruits come out just like you siphoned them. No. No. Why? Because you cannot partake of those fruits because you know, the, you know not those fruits. You know not those fruits. You know evil fruits. You know wicked, demonic fruits. That is your lair. That is where you live. That is where you will stay. You cannot come in our God-led Holy Spirit led, Jesus Christ led, lane, and try to manipulate it to be something that you're pushing out. 
something that you are going through and bearing the cross for, and you're not. Yet you think you can bear our cross. Not even understanding the Bible and how and what bearing a, a cross means. You think you can take our cross and bear it yourself? Well, you cannot. You cannot. You will be crushed under the weight. You know why? Because we've been carrying that cross. <laughs> We're bulked up so to speak, to carry that cross. Why? Because we've been carrying it. We are stitched and interwoven in our testimonies. Without us, there is no testimony. So no one, so no one can come to you or <laughs> come up behind you and try to take your testimony. The thing that you are saved by the word of your testimony and by the grace of God I just don't understand that I mean I understand plagiarism I understand that right but this is not something you can plagiarize it's not something you can plagiarize do you know why? Because you need power behind it. Not just any power, the power of God behind it. In front of it, on the side of it, you need the power of God. Which they do not possess. Why? Because God does not live in them. He's near to their mouths and he is far from their heart. <laughs> Other way around. Thank you. <laughs> said it too fast God is in their mouths but God is far from their hearts okay God is in their mouths in front of other people God is in their mouths when they want to be seen when they want to sound intelligent when they want people to listen to them and take their advice their demonically charged led device Advice, <laughs> device. <laughs> I said it right. I get. Hey, move, Holy Spirit. But what you thought that you were taking and masking, and 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 by the way, those trips that you took out of town. Yeah, to these witch doctors and these uh uh spiritual practitioners, the trips that you took out of town. Oh, you better believe that those weren't unseen. It's amazing how sneaky, how deceptive, how charming you try to be and how much you try to cover up your dirty deeds and your dirty steps and moves and, and, and actions and skeletons. I just, it's so elementary to think <laughs> that you're getting away with something because nobody sees you in the physical. Because nobody's there with you in the physical. But that's childlike thinking. That's elementary thinking or no thinking at all. Because who put the clouds here? Hmm? Who put this earth here that we're standing under and walking on every day? Who put the stars in the sky? The planetary bodies in the universe. Who did that? God did that, right? So you think that since nobody sees you in, 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 in the flesh, that, that nobody sees you in the heavens. You've got to be a child. With a childlike mind to think something like that. Even if you don't believe in God, you know 
that man didn't create this rock that we're on, floating in this universe. You know that. So that tells you all alone. That tells you that God is God and he is God alone and he, who, he is who he says he is and has always been and always will be. 1023 on my timer. For those of you who want to try to disprove that, be my guest. Be my guest. Okay. I just got done saying life is not a spectator sport. <laughs> but that will be a spec. A thing to behold. I'll say that. Okay. That will be a thing to behold and that will be beheld. It will be seen by Everyone. Maybe it doesn't happen today. Maybe it doesn't happen tomorrow. Maybe it doesn't happen next week. But it's going to happen. And when it does happen, there will be no getting up from it. It's a TKO. Total knockout. Total knockout. They're not getting up. I love y'all, beloved. I'll let y'all later. Peace.